Basically, uh, every trade show from Vegas to uh, Vegas at Magic and uh, Agenda in Anaheim in New York and uh, out here at Bright, we bring a barber with us. And uh, as you can see, it, it creates quite a, a, a presence at the show that uh, I don't think no one's ever really done before. And uh, it's a cool vibe. You know, we take one barber each show. We rotate them in so uh, everybody gets a shot to travel and check out the uh, the shows in the world, and uh, it's a good thing for everybody. Cav, how do you like the show so far? It's, uh, it's been an experience, man. I've uh, I've never been out of the country before, so it's uh, something else. You know what I mean? It's cool. It's cool. Everyone's been showing us a lot of love, so it's it's been a lot of fun. So customers are satisfied. You're the first lady first here. Lady. Yeah, I guess first I am. Yeah. Sit down in my chair. You're happy with the haircut so far? Yeah, so far I am. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Yo, Mike. It's time for another freestyle with the guy with the flute and the guitar. Nah, nah, nah. Wir, Mike, der Besitzer von Frank und ich, wir sind alle seit tausend Jahren befreundet miteinander und haben total viel zusammen gemacht, weil wir auch fast Nachbarn sind. Ich wohne in Brooklyn, er wohnt in Manhattan. Wir machen super auf Party. That's right, back in the day. What happened then? We uh, met through the uh, hardcore community and uh, when we were working on the DMS issue of Frank 151. Uh, DMS is a uh, good like friends, family with both of us, and uh, they put us together, and uh, we started talking about doing a collaboration, and uh, we're here, and it's going to come out on uh, Back to School, October-ish uh, of 2011. So. Wir kommen auch gleichzeitig aus der Arbeiterklasse, also unsere Familie und unsere Eltern und der Beruf des Barbiers, ne? um den geht es ja in Franks Jobshop, das ist ein ehrwürdiger Beruf und da haben wir uns dann drei Teile ausgedacht, die das auch, die das auch repräsentieren. And, um, I'm going to walk you through the three items that we have. Actually, we got four items over here, but it's one item in two colorways, so actually it's three styles. What we started off with is the uh, long sleeve thermal in burgundy, or we call it Oxblood, this color. You know, nice clean look, you know, buttons, like the buttons and the colorway actually um, sort of represent the interior of the chop shop, which is mainly mahogany. Then when it gets a little chillier, you take out this piece, you know, um, paying a little respect to, you know, the walks of life we came from. Like I said before, working class. And this is going to come out in two colorways, uh, raw denim and uh, used. And this is like the masterpiece that we have, the quilted leather jacket, cheap skin. And uh, we got that in two colorways, ox blood. Like I said, that's the interior of the shop shop. And, you know, for those cats that want to keep it, you know, a little bit on the, you know, down low, that's the black one. Same shit, different color. Representing a clean look with a clean hair, with a clean sneakers, and with a clean haircut. I'm gonna get a shape myself in a minute. <laughs> Shout out to Frontline, happy anniversary, 25 years. Here's a little side story. I've bought stuff from Frontline when it wasn't even called Frontline. Back in the day, it was called Funhouse. I've been part of the hawker scene since 1986. Back then, they would send me catalogs and shit. And I remember there's one um, thing that they did at the poll, and I think like 1988, yo, what's your favorite band? What's the favorite show? Blah, blah, blah. Do you skate? Yes, no. And I found that at my parents' place. I filled it out, but I never sent it out. So favorite show of the year was RKL, and I was looking forward to the Youth of Today Lethal Aggression Tour. And uh, shout outs to Mark, obviously. I know you're watching, and um, yeah, keep it up to the next 25 years. <laughs>